In this edit text tutorial, I will cover how to detect when the focus of an edit text changes using an on focus change listener, as well as how to respond to the change. So what focus means is whether the user is currently focused on the edit text and the keyboard is open so that they can type on it, as, and the cursor is also displaying in the edit text. And when there is no focus, that means there is no, the keyboard is not displaying for that specific edit text, and the user cannot enter text in there. So I already have my layout here, and you can go ahead and copy this. And pause the video and copy this. What I'm going to do is head on over to mainActivate.java and I'm going to create edit text objects for my two edit texts that I have in my activity. So I'm going to say et1, et2. Then I'm going to find them in the on create. So et1 equals find view by id or dot id dot edit text one. I'm going to copy and paste this and just change it for edit text two. Now that I have this. It's very easy to add an on focus change listener because all I have to do is use my edit text object and say et1.set on focus change listener and then say new on view down focus change listener and it generates it for me. And it also provides me with a view that way I can get the ID of my edit text as well as whether it has focus. So essentially all I'm going to do now is just check if has focus or if not has focus. So the edit text does not have focus, meaning that the user just left it and tapped outside to no longer enter text in there. Then I'm going to create a toast with the text that's currently in the edit text. So I'm going to say get application context. And then the um, text is going to be et1.getText. Get text dot to string. And it's going to be toast.length long. If you're new to Toast, I recommend that you check out my video on how to create them. It's another short bit segment, but essentially once I've done this, I have to say dot show to display the edit text. Uh, another thing that I should check for, which is important, is that the text in our edit text is not empty. So like it's not null. So I'm going to say get text dot to string is not equal to null. And now I'm going to run this. So here I have the app and you can see that I have two edit text. I'm going to type over here is subscribe to IJ and apps. And now in order to change the focus, I'm going to click on the second edit text over here. And you can see this toast appeared because we just our focus for our first edit text just disappeared. So that's essentially all for this short bit segment. What you learned was how to uh, make a detect when the user has left the focus of an edit text. What I'm going to do in the next video is cover how to hide the keyboard. Because you can see once I, uh, right now I'm tapping outside of the edit text, but the keyboard does not disappear. So that's what I'm going to cover in the next video. And please subscribe and stay tuned for then.